Hello, hello, my most amazing artist. And today we're going to be creating a cave art lion or lion inspired by cave art. All right, to get started, you're going to want a pencil, a dark crayon or a black crayon, sorry, or a Sharpie to draw with. I'm going to draw with Sharpie um, just because you can see it better. Okay, and this is an example of what your final project might look like. Here we go. When you're drawing sharp, or if you're drawing in Sharpie, always make sure you have extra paper underneath. All right, our paper is up and down. We're gonna start with a upside down U. And to get the right size, what I want you to do is put your hand in the center of your paper and I want you to make a U or upside down U that goes around your hand. That way you know your U is big enough. When you're done, we're gonna turn that paper. Next, we're going to make a little curved line for the top. We're going to add two curved lines for the ears with little curved lines on the inside. Next, we're going to draw the face. We're going to use our finger, put our finger on the chin, and come up just a little bit. So in the center of the chin, come up just a little bit. Let's make a little dot there. From the dot, we're going to make a curved line left and a curved line right. Next, from the dot, we're going to make a rounded letter V and a rounded top. We're going to come up from the side, come up, come up, come up, come up, curve over. Notice how my line comes all the way up here. It doesn't stop down here or else I won't have room for my eyes. I come up, come up, come up, almost to the top of my head. And sometimes it's helpful to do that with my finger first. So we start here on the other side to make it symmetrical. Go up, go up, go up. Wow, this is already looking like a pretty cool line. Now, what is he missing? Aha, some eyes. We're going to start with a circle. Then a curved line above the circle. And in my example, I have his eyes looking this way, but if you want to make them go the other way, that's okay too. I'm going to fill in the one side to make it look like he's looking this way. A few more details for his nose. Let's make a little bump for his nostrils on the sides. Some dots on his cheeks. And don't forget the whiskers. 
next we're going to add a part of his bushy mane at the top with a zigzag line. When you're done drawing all of these things, you're going to put your black crayon or marker away. And we're going to look in our crayons to find, or, or color pencils or markers to find some lion colors. Okay. I've got dark orange or red orange. I've got tan, yellow, brown, orange, and red. We're going to use the brown first. We are going to color in our lion very lightly everywhere on his face except for inside of his eyes. Take your time when you do this very, very lightly. We're going to color in. Go ahead, take your time and I'll be back with the next step. Okay, as you can see, I have colored in my whole lion's face very lightly with the color brown. I did not color inside the whites of his eyes. The next thing is that I'm going to press harder with my crayon and color in a few spots. I'm going to start with the ears. Can you see how this ear is a little darker than the rest of the face? Because I pressed harder. I'm going to show you a few spots where we're going to color in darker. Aha! So I'm finished coloring in my darker spots. I colored in both ears, the hair, and the nose. But I'm not done yet. The next thing I'm going to do is go next to some of my lines. I'm going to go next to my eye and nose line on both sides. And I'm going to go next to the mouth line here and next to the edge of the face. I'm going to go slowly and stay next to those lines. Can you see what that looks like? I'll be right back with the coloring. Aha, I did it. I went next to my face next to my eye and nose lines on both sides and next to my mouth. I did go really slow and take my time. The next step is we're going to get those other colors that we talked about. Our reds and yellows and oranges and brown and tan. And we're going to add some texture to our lion's mane. Texture is the way that something feels and a lion's mane or the hair that comes out of his neck is really fluffy and hairy. So I'm going to start with one color at a time and I'm going to go round and round. I'm going to start with zigzag lines. and go round and round and you can pick whatever color you want to start and I'm turning my paper while I'm going now I can do this pretty fast because I've had some practice but you can take your time so I made some zigzag lines I'm gonna pick one more color for zigzag lines And now I'm going to add some straight lines, but I'm going to have fun with this. I'm going to, I'm going to pick up two colors at a time. Can you try that? If you can't, that's okay. I'm going to hold both of them 
and I'm going to go straight lines. Now, like I said earlier, I can go do this fast because I've had some practice. But you should take your time. I'm starting at the black line of the edge of his face, and I'm pulling my crayon out towards the edge of the paper. This is making the mane look really fluffy, fuzzy, hairy. Whoa, pretty good, but I still want to add some more colors, more straight lines. I think I'm going to pick the brown again. Has that ever happened to you, getting a, a broken crayon? That's okay. I can still use my crayons. Crayons still work, even if they're broken. I want a lot of brown lines, so I'm going to go a little bit more. Add a few more going around. And oh, there is my creation, my cave art lion. If you have time for step two, go to part two of this video for adding folded paper texture.